I'm sitting here on my new sofa, Sandy Cove, uh, of the brand Men of Parts. It's a young brand, they are like five years old, based in Toronto, Canada. And it's actually their first physical presentation on a fair and they picked Copenhagen, the three days of design, because it's something completely different to the Milan show. Yeah, the idea of Man of Parts, founded by Stefan Weishaupt in Toronto, is to have a strong belief and love into craftsmanship with very well selected materials, manufacturers, suppliers, but also from the perspective of designers. So there's one, it's me, there's Jago Puschelberg, there's Christophe Delcourt from Paris, there's Victoria Wilmot, Philip Malois, uh, Workshop APD. So a completely yeah, mix of uh, design with different backgrounds, you know, different backgrounds in the experience, uh, the birthplace, and they all bring together the, the love for, for quality, for manufacturing, uh, with a different approach. You can see it here, I think, also in the presentation, different way of mixing materials, colors, so it's really a, a, a wonderful way of, of presenting a new uh, philosophy of, of living, of uh, yeah, setting an interior. Yeah, well, here's Sandy Cove, the sofa we just presented it here for the first time. It's, it's driven by a, a, a visit to Fogo Island, which is a Newfoundland, an island in, in the northeast of Canada. And there they really have a strong winter and it's stormy. And uh, I recognized when I was there around with Stefan um, that like the church and other big buildings, they have kind of protections outside and to support the building against the storm and the, yeah, the winter. And this was actually the idea to have really a statement piece uh, which is comfortable but has also a, yeah, um, a stability or a strong impact into the living room. So if you go around the sofa, it really has beautiful, unique back backside. So it's a, a freestanding yeah, stand mid, a statement piece and um, yeah, it's a modular one, so we have different modules, so everyone can create his, let's say, the architecture or his Fogo Island or, yeah, to create the story we want to tell with the sofa. So it's kind of organic, but on the other hand, also very architectural. I started my design office you have visited uh, like 16, 17 years ago and it was always driven by the idea to bring the human aspect into the products. When I started it was a lot about new technologies, new materials and so on, but I was thinking okay there's maybe the human touch missing, uh, so the connection to between the, the craft then and the consumer, the client, it's the product which is crafted in a selected uh, workshops around the world. So it could be in Colombia, it could be in Japan, could be in Canada, or in this case, actually it's produced in, in Germany at a small workshop. And I think uh, I want to create, let's say, crafted emotions, because I think this is a big difference to artificial intelligence that we as human beings can discover design with all of our senses. So actually I can smell the flowers here but maybe I can smell also the wood of the chair and, and the touch and the feel and the sound and I think uh, this is something which makes also the, the approach of the company kind of unique because it's really about the tactility, about the, how a product interacts with, with, the, with the client or the person sitting on it or touching it and I think this becomes more and more important to have really the balance between our digital work life and, and the reality we want to, to touch in a high quality at home.